Good morning everyone. We made it most of the way to Amiel um, yesterday so now we are going to finish off the tiny little leg of the journey but we thought that this would be a good opening to our video today because that's our house <laughs> and that's where we stayed last night and it's been absolutely magical here over the sunrise hasn't it? Yeah it's been beautiful. <laughs> Just driving through Neufchatel, Neufchatel en Bray, I think, and um, we're going to be going through it and finding our park for night. But we've been amazed just by the fact that the roads have been so quiet. Um, at times, we've been the only people on the road. They're structured in a way that make you have to slow down, which is probably quite good for us. Driving is there? Is there <laughs> European blood in your blood? That's is that that's yeah, I, yeah, yeah in your veins. European blood in your veins. <laughs> I think actually on my mum's side, my nan's like part French. I think maybe. Oh yeah. So that's that's how you're so good at driving on the right hand side. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, yeah. nan. <laughs> and this is where we are. Our view from our our front sort of farmlandy, isn't it? I mean, you can just take things for granted here that are like, like if we were in this car park in England, we'd be like, oh my God. 100%. For a second time today. We've had a little look around Neuf Chatel or Bray um, and apart from nostalgia which came from the fact that we cycled through it uh, about about eight years ago um, we decided there wasn't much keeping us there so while Mia still had energy she decided that now was as good enough time as any to drive on to our next spot so tomorrow we hope to be in Amiens so we found somewhere quite nearby that looks like it would be a really nice place to sleep. Um, so we'll, well, we'll show you what that looks like once we're there. Just arrived where we will be sleeping tonight this is our view from the front uh, we're not gonna go out of our doors are we no there's a lot of midges lots of midges so um, we're gonna stay inside but um, I think we'll probably be able to open the windows but have the fly nets up if it's, if it's warm or something like that then we'll just give me a face so. the midges will find a way in midges <laughs> We don't think we're going to get disturbed by road traffic here, do we?
we have woken up to a gorgeous view and we didn't get eaten by midges in the night they didn't come through the van and like get to us and no swamp thing managed to come out of the water and break in and climb into bed with us and much to Mia's relief Turtle didn't go for a swim because that was kind of her concern that we might slip into the water in the middle of the night and that's not happened either so instead we just get to enjoy a nice cup of tea before we move on this morning arrived at our park up in Amiens. Rob has made us a delicious pasta salad and it is Sunday today which means that most of the shops and retail facilities in Amiens is probably shut so we are going to wander in along the Somme um, which was kind of on my bucket list so that's quite exciting and just take in the quiet scenery. I think this will be a nice way to get to know the place and then maybe tomorrow we'll have a look at some of the shops and stuff like that. But I'll show you where we've parked now in the uh, delicious pasta salad that uh, is in my future. I've been walking for a little while and I did a classic Mia and misjudged the distance so I thought that we were only walking three kilometers but it turns out that we're actually walking four miles. Yeah close to five miles yeah. <laughs> so um <laughs> got a little hangry but domestic avoided and we had some lunch so the pasta's already gone <laughs> but Supplies. We, <laughs> our supplies are low, but um, as we just came round a meander of this river path that we've been walking on, which is stunning, um, the cathedral um, just came into view down the river perfectly, and I literally said to Rob, like, I'm such a happy monk, I felt like I was on a pilgrimage. <laughs> so um, I think we're going to have to get fitter, babes, because uh, van life and... Uh, our adventurous lifestyle is quite demanding, so... <laughs>
bonjour, we are on our way back and uh, Mia has asked me to do the recording because in ordering a glass of wine she ordered too much and now doesn't feel like she can be on camera <laughs> so she's just giggling behind me. She also really needs a wee and we've got five miles to walk back so good luck to her. Yeah. What have we got to say on the matter of the walking home? It's really beautiful still. I do need a wee. But um, it's stunning. Whenever we film something like that, the, the other person has to run to catch up, so it's my time to run and catch up. We are so nearly back. It has been about a 10 mile plus journey. We have walked in to Amiens. We've had a look around and it's absolutely beautiful, well worth a visit. And we are now just coming to the end of our walk back. Scenes are stunning. But we are both very tired and looking forward to dinner. Hello. Oh, Nick. We made it back, though. And, um,. So the next thing is to wonder what's for dinner, get that going. For now I think both of us are just going to like grab a sofa each and just pass out. <laughs> I think that's, that's pretty much the plan. Oh. So it's about 7, maybe 20 past 7 out of the hush. Uh, dinner is still cooking. But before dinner's even ready, Mia was like, should I make the bed? I'm oh, tired. Yeah, so uh, it... The bed's gonna get made in the rest of our day. It's gonna be eating dal in bed and then probably falling asleep before nine. <laughs> we, we have maybe overdone it a bit by our standards. Um, but we will see we'll see where the evening goes. Maybe a chapter with a title. Yeah, we'll probably cozy up and have a read of a book and and party on, party on. Have a snuggle. Snuggle time. And then sleep. <laughs> Guys, we've made it to a quarter to ten. It's bedtime now. 